So now we're to our last tab in our bullets and numbering dialog box. The numbering, this first one, that's going to be the Roman numerals. And we can see a little outline right here. Changing it, we can change it to A and it shows us what it would look like. Make it a bullet, you can make it a bullet. And when we change it to bullets, it also changes our choices below. We can do character style bullets. We're going to leave that bullets. And then clicking on characters. Down here, we'll probably want to go down to uh, make it like the wing dings or wing ding two. And our bullet would then become maybe this uh, circle. Clicking OK. Now we've got our, our bullet a circle. And that's something a little more customizable. Going back to the reset, resets it to what it was when I opened the dialog box. Now before, this before, let's say we're on level three, which was our city. We can change this and say city. And then changing the I, maybe we want to make that a number. So we'll say city number one, city number two. And instead of a dot, we want to change this to a right parent. And clicking OK, we can see City 1, Malibu, City 2, City 3. Going back into our options and show sublevels. OK, this here will show the ones above. So when I say 2, I'm on level 3. So it's going to say the A, which we have. And if I have another one, it should give us the uh, I. And we want to start at number one. We could make it start at 10 each time. Oops, 10. So then it'll be 10, 11, and 12. And it's showing us the level. So the I, the B, 10, 11, and 12. Now that we played around with it a little bit and kind of mixed it up, let's highlight it all and set it to one of the defaults so that everything is back in order. And I will pick this lower left-handed one here. It's easy to look at. Now let's take a look at some of these other buttons on our toolbar. I'm on Detroit. I see my uh, cursor blinking there. And these are all numbering. So let's take a look at these first two. This one's bullets on off. This is numbering on off. Since we're in numbered, if I click this button, it turns the numbering off for that element. And I'm going to turn the numbering back on. And notice that it only takes it to this first level. So now we're going to use this arrow here, demote one level, which means bring it down. And it brings that level to level B. If I click it again, it takes us down to our city level, which is what we want. When I click the big arrow and the little arrow, it moves Michigan to the city level and Detroit and Lansing, which were cities, are now on the town level. Clicking that back, resetting everything. Now let's look at these uh, up and downs. Again, I'm still on Michigan. When I click it down, it just uh, moves it, it keeps the same level, but moves it down a position. So now the only city in Michigan is Lansing. If I click it down again, the two cities are by themselves and Michigan's by itself. Clicking it again, now C is Michigan and B is Texas. Going up, and it's back to A. And you, you notice when I went down, it switched to B and there is no A. Now when I click the big and little arrows, it will take Michigan and place it below Texas and this carry the cities with it as well. So I can also move it below California. And now Michigan's at the bottom below California and Texas. And here if we want to insert an unnumbered entry, I'd probably be at the end of California and I want to put a comment in. I click this and I say, so I can put a comment on that line and maybe I didn't italicize that, make it a little smaller. 
So that's how I would add a comment on that same level. And the last button here is uh, Restart Numbering. Let's uh, click on Australia and restart the numbering there. So this is back to 1. And then uh, A, B, C, and we have 1 and 1. Uh, this is shown a little better. Let's go back in to Options. Let's change this to Numbers. 1, 2, 3. Let's change this one to 1, 2, 3 and this one to one two three so we can see the consecutive numbering all the way down okay and then it'll restart at Australia so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one where I click the restart two three four five six seven eight nine so there's a little numbering on there and that's how we're going to finish this out mm -hmm.